Uh, first, it's great to be here. Uh, we're really excited about our team and this uh, upcoming season. And um, the two young ladies on my left are, are working really hard along with their teammates. Um, we're very excited about the teams we're playing and the competition. And I think one of the things just I'm, I'm really impressed with the improvement that our team has made in the off season. So I think that really bodes well for a great year. Uh, before we get started with questions, I do want to introduce Stanford SID John Canalupi. If you need, need anything, please reach out to him. Um, and so now we'll open it up to questions. Please remember to use a microphone and to identify yourself. Improvements right out of the shoots, the off-season improvements. Could you be a little more specific as to what they were and if those were kind of in line with what you challenged the, the kids to improve upon? Well, I think that, um, you know, the, the, probably the biggest improvement I see is the sophomore class. Um, you know, Kiana had a great freshman year, um, but uh, some of the other sophomores maybe didn't, you know, they didn't get as much playing time as, as Kiana, but uh, I think Kiana's improved. Uh, just her, her confidence, uh, her shot, taking the ball to the basket. Um, Estella Moscow didn't play a lot for us at all last year, but, um, you know, stronger, more confident, knocking her shot down. Uh, Maya Dodson, for me, might be one of our most improved players. Um, and again, the, you know, the, uh, her teammates could attest to that. But just uh, making moves, using her athleticism, uh, being aggressive. Um, the the uh, juniors, uh, I, I see big improvement with uh, Nadia Fingal. Um, and uh, also the sophomores, uh, Alyssa Jerome played uh, overseas. She played with Canada. Um, I think, you know, she's really physical and you know got that international basketball along with Alana Smith you know and uh, our freshman Jenna Brown had that international experience so um, you know I, again uh, uh, Shannon Coffey a, a senior that didn't play major minutes for us but is absolutely tearing it up in practice and one of the things our team you know did you know last year was a new offense and this year it's it's, it's a I think a lot playing with a lot more pace um, uh, Dijonay had uh, was able to, you know, I think uh, work on her game a lot, get in the gym, get shots up. So, um, you know, just a, a really, uh, I think, you know, really people have worked really hard. Uh, Anna Wilson being healthy, that could be a big thing for us. Um, this, I think she's doing great. You know, uh, she's working really hard. Could be a defender, and you know, obviously has a lot of um, um, kind of a lot of things that she could contribute to. But health health is number one. Hi, I have a, uh, Tom Fitzgerald, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Dee, I have a question for you, and that is, uh, where are the rebounds going to come from that uh, Kaylee Johnson got last year? Where are all those rebounds going to come from? I mean, we're going to make a collective effort to uh, fill in that, that gap. Obviously, as Tara said, Maya has improved a lot, and she is extremely athletic, um, dunks the ball with ease, and so I think a lot of those rebounds will come from her, but also the guards. We have to step up this year. Um, I don't think we did a fantastic job of that last year of rebounding and boxing out, so I think that a lot of that will also fall on the guards to, to hold our own weight. And, uh, and I have a question for, for Kiana, too, and that is this team did not shoot free throws very well last year. Is that going to be any different this year? And if so, why? Um, yes, I would, I'd agree. Uh, I think we, we didn't shoot well um, from the free throw line last year. But um, in practice, like we always in practice uh, shooting free throws. And um, I think this year we're have, we have a bigger emphasis on it. Uh, just it's, I think it's just concentration and taking your time and um, doing your routine, uh, that's what Tar really emphasizes on. So um, I think that's going to be a bigger emphasis on us for, for us as a collective group. Kevin Dana, pack-12.com. Dijanae, uh, I know you were, ask, you were asked questions about this during lunch, uh, so sorry for the repeat. But I was just wondering if you could kind of comment on your friendship that you've de developed with Kiana over your uh, couple of years now a yeah. as teammates and just like how maybe that has translated in your eyes onto the court. Yeah, I mean, Kiana and I are very, very close. She came home with me this summer. We drove from Stanford to San Diego um, about eight or, eight or so hours. So I must really have uh, patience, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, we get along really, really well. Um, and that translates incredible, incredibly on the court. Um, 
I think we trust each other and that um, we're just able to kind of know things like where one another is going to be, things like that. I know that she likes higher outlets than other point guards. She knows that I like the ball thrown higher than maybe other guards, just things like that. Um, and I think that has really helped us on the court. We hang out all the time, and I don't really know – well, she doesn't really know how this friendship came about, but um, I'll tell you, it's because she needed my TV to watch a TV show. So, <laughs> power. So I would come back to my room, and she'd be in there on my TV, and I'm like, who let you in? <laughs> so, yeah, I think it just developed from that last summer. So, yeah. Tara, sorry. It's a rare year when the coaches don't pick you as a favorite. I'm, I'm curious if you come into this enjoying that role or uh, your thoughts on that and just kind of the, the depth of the conference this year. Well, I think that, um, you know, we have great teams and uh, great players in our conference. And, you know, for us, um, uh, I, we're a contender. We know, you know, I think there's a lot of teams just because someone is ranked higher. I mean, you've got to be healthy and you've got to keep improving. Um, I, I just look at there's a lot of really good teams and you know hopefully seven or eight teams will go to the NCAA tournament and for us I think we try to take the long range view of not just uh, you know not a, a poll in the beginning but uh, kind of the, my dad used to always say it's not the start of the race but the finish. Uh, we're, I'm very confident that we have a championship team if we have championship practices and we have championship attitude and we have uh, championship you know work ethic along the way and championship improvement. But, um, you know, I have a lot of confidence in our players, and I'm, I'm really excited to be in the gym uh, with, um, you know, just everyone has been working so hard and, and, and wants, you know, wants to have a great year. Um, so the, um, I, I, can, I, can, um, I can turn that into a, a, a good thing. Not being the favorite. Yeah, it's all, it's, it's all good. Cheryl Coward, hoopfeed.com. Um, with the World Cup uh, this summer, or this past few weeks, and you having uh, Alana playing for Australia, and of course, NECA with the USA, how exciting was that to have you know two uh, players in that competition? And seeing the improvement of Alana playing with you know other pros. Oh, well, it's great. Um, I you know, look down there, and there's Alana running the floor, getting a layup, hitting a three, and then guarding NECA or guarding Tina Charles. I'm like, Whoa, where'd that defense come from, you know? Um, but it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And, you know, not to, uh, I mean, Pac-12 having uh, Laysha Claret in there is, is great. I think we're very well represented. And, it, and it's very exciting. To, you know, NECA um, just has had just a fantastic pro career. And you know, she played on the World Cup the four years earlier. But hopefully, hopefully it's a time for her to play on the Olympic team. And it would be fun for Atlanta to be on her Olympic team, too. Joan. Hey, Tar. Uh, Joan Bombasini from Pac-12 Networks. Okay, every year, I mean, you've coached a long time. Have a, yes, but it, that's a compliment. That's a compliment. You have un, unbelievable uh, accolades, but, you know, the thing I always admire, your balance of getting ready, you know, using your summer. What did Tar do this summer that was special? Well, you know, for me, um, the summers are different now because – for most part, everyone stays on campus, and you're allowed four hours a week. So we would work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, it's a little more um, regimented, and, and uh, maybe in a good way that it helps, um, you know, kind of helps people keep their schedule going. One thing was our, our team had a fantastic academic summer, um, you know, with everyone basically – you know, if I were to combine all their grades, we had like a 388 or something like that. It was incredible. Our team studied really hard, and they worked hard in the weight room and in the gym also. Um, I think for me, a lot of it, to be enthusiastic and excited about the school year, it's really important for me to get away. And the thing that um, I said on, on air was uh, I, I, was, um, I water skied every day but one in the month of August. And so that was really kind of for me that kind of, um, you know, I'm doing phone calls, I'm emailing, maybe I'm, I'm working, but I had fun. And, you know, I think that just um, keeps, uh, keeps tread on my tire to, to um, you know, be excited to go in the gym and work with these um, incredible 
uh, athletes and student athletes. And uh, but I, I want to be fresh. I want to be excited. So that's what I did. Hey, Tar Lasia hey. Clarendon. Uh Pactual Network. Um, I'm curious, is that a balance you have always had or something that's happening later in your career as you're finding, you know, the exhaustion? Uh, you know, I, I think they always, uh, like, you know, as a younger coach, uh, first of all, the recruiting rules have changed. You used to be able to recruit all summer. And I had USA teams for 10 years all summer. And at one point after the 96 um, Olympic experience, I, in the middle of January, I was just like, exhausted and not excited and that's not fair to the women you're coaching and so you know I think that my schedule is probably different than maybe some other coaches just because I know what works for me and I encourage our team to do what works for them my kind of mantra to everyone on our team is do whatever it takes to come back and be excited when we start in October and you know help yourself be the best player you can be and so, um, you know, some people like uh, Alexa Romano went to Peru. She was part of a, an anthropological study down there. Um, you know, Anna Wilson was not on campus in the summer. It's what works for you to be ready to come back and do a great job. So I'm, I'm again, I'm really excited to work with our team. Uh, every day to me is uh, really, it's just fun to be in the gym and, you know, to, to kind of try to put this puzzle together is uh, real, it's going to be really exciting. Kevin Dan of pack-12.com. Coach, I was just curious, when did you pick up water skiing and kind of what it attracted you to, to water skiing? You know, I'm a nut. I'm like, I, <laughs> I, I started when I was little, but I never had my own boat. And then Joan talked me into getting my own boat. You know, she had her own boat. And uh, so I just went off the deep end and got two boats, you know, one on one lake and one on the other. And I just love doing it. And, you know, you just get out and it's exercise and it doesn't feel like exercise. It's fun. So I grew up snow skiing and water skiing when I was little, but um, it's hard to snow ski during the basketball season. Um, but I don't want to be distract. I don't want to get distracted away from you know our, our our team. I want to be able to talk about our players. Um, it's so much about them, and this is their four years. And you know I want Keon to have a great sophomore year. I want Dee to have a great junior year, and this uh, and you know that they provide great leadership for our team with you know. Uh, work ethic and great attitude every day and really enjoying playing basketball. So, like, I, we're practicing tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning. You know, I water ski every, every morning in the summer, like, in July, I ski at 6 o'clock. You know, so I'm, I'll be excited. I'll be there. Because uh, the Warriors are actually practicing. They're going to practice in our gym, and we get a chance to watch them a little bit. But, um, but I, I, want, I want them to have the, the thing for water skiing for me or skiing is that I want them to have the enthusiasm for what they're doing, to love basketball and to come to the gym and be excited. Um, and then we're going to have a great year. For um, Kiana and, and um, excuse me, Dijanae, can you talk about what you've improved on the most this year in terms of, don't give me, you know, the fluffy answer. I want the, like, self-critical as a player, as an athlete, as a point guard especially. What was the, the biggest improvement that you needed to add to your game this year? And then have you done it over the summer? And then a follow-up from Tara, in a critical standpoint, obviously constructively, what was the biggest improvement you wanted to see from them coming into this season? Um, um, for me, uh, last year, um, I didn't play like point guard as much. So I really, I didn't have the um, like role to be as vocal. Um, and that's one thing uh, I took into account this uh, summer, just being more vocal, um, trying to help our freshmen get, get them up to speed. Um, and Marta did a great job helping me last year as a freshman. So um, I think my, uh, like Tara said, I, I have a lot more confidence playing wise and um, I know what to expect. So I just, just think being a uh, better, like just being more vocal, being a better leader um, and yeah. Yeah, somewhat piggybacking off of that. I think my role this year is much more of a leadership role on our team. Um, I am a very vocal person in general and outgoing and I'm able to kind of, um, mesh with everybody and so I think that's going to be a big thing for me is just um, that positivity uh, in practice as as my position as a guard who kind of likes contact a lot a lot of times I think I get fouled and if it's not called I can show that frustration and so I think a big thing with that is just being the same person 
whether I get the call, whether I don't, whether I have 20 points or zero bench or starting, you know what I mean? Um, and being able to just be remain the same and be positive for my teammates and um, for myself. Well, as far as uh, Kiana, I think I had a fabulous freshman year and uh, we need her just to build on that great success that she had last year. And I would just say, you know, being maybe more aggressive defensively, uh, being more vocal, but um, continuing just right down the road that she's on. And I think, you know, I, I'm seeing that in practice. Uh, you know, I think that um, in DeJanae's situation, and the other thing is that, you know, there might be some flexibility, um, whether it's uh, like Jenna Brown, uh, the freshman, can play. That's her, she wants to play point. I think Keon, if she had her choice, would rather play two, but she's going to have to play both for us. Um, you know, in DeJanae's situation, uh, you know, last year, a lot of it was, you know, uh, Britt carried the offensive load and uh, maybe Alana and Key, and, and I think Dee can help us offensively with, um, you know, uh, scoring. Um, but I think she could be a, a great defensive player for us. And that's it's buying into that, playing at that end of the floor, you know, saying, I'm going to be the defensive stopper on this team, you know, and, you know, really set an example in practice uh, with, you know, no, you can't – if I'm guarding you, I, I, can, I can really shut you down. Uh, I think we need that as much as anything. So, but I, I think they're both working very hard and, um, you know, buying into what we need them to do. We have time for one more question. Cindy Brunson, Pac-12 Networks. Coach, what excites you about this team? You know, I, I really like the pace we're playing with. Uh, I like the depth that we have. And, you know, quite honestly, um, you know, obviously Kiana and DJ are here, and that's great. But there might be three, four, or five other people that could be sitting right here because they play that hard and, the, you know, they're going to contribute that much to our team. You know, obviously Alana, uh, she missed so much school that, um, you know, I thought she needed to be in class. But um, I, I, I could see huge games from someone like Nadia Finkel. Uh, I could see, you know, big games from uh, uh, one of our, our best rebounder, Tom asked a question. Our best rebounder right now in practice is Lexi Hull. So, um, you know, whoever wants to be out there, it's going to be ex – what I think excites me the most is the competition on our team. And no one's going to no one's gonna be, able to be able to relax. Uh, every day people are going to have to bring their A game to practice and the A, a game to the game um, just because it's so competitive in a good way. And I, I think that, that you know, that's a very healthy situation and – um, I'm really fortunate to be in that situation, and that's what they want. You know, they want to be on a team that people push them and they push each other.